you. And Annabelle, you can take it away. Okay, great, thanks. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know that I'll be out February 7th and 8th, which is always you know, the trickiest time because everyone's trying to get their merge requests in last minute. Um, I have reached out to Chris, who is the plan expert for the UX team, but he's been out of office as well. So if that fails, then please go to Tori. And if that fails, then just, you know, find someone else. But um, yeah, there's a little chain of command, I guess. But yeah, hopefully we won't have too many last minute reviews and I'll be available, you know, all through the six. Um, my next point, I didn't really get a chance to, uh, okay, I was gonna look at it again. I just wanted everyone to know we're gonna move forward with the tab design for viewing epics or sub epics within epics. And I'm gonna start working on that this week and try and finalize that for the next milestone. Um, Victor, I just read your message on the plan channel about the customer who's interested in that. I didn't know if you wanted to talk about that a little more or if you had an idea of separating out, you know, we discussed on that issue whether or not we wanted to reorder epics within that epic page or wanted to create a whole new view. And if you have any insight from what that customer would like, that would be great. I, well, when we talked with customer, we didn't get to that level of detail in like from a design perspective. And even if they had like a strong opinion, I wouldn't super, super trust them. I mean, they're one customer out of many, um, you know, and I, and I probably trust you as a designer more. And so to confirm when you say tab design, sort of the, the MR merge request uh, view, right? Uh, where you have the multiple tabs at the bottom. Right. And, and then so we'll, for this issue, we'll have a new one. The, the, the discussion will be there. And I assume that will be the default. Or maybe we can chat you know, separately on that. But then there'll be a tree view. Um, I, I'm, I'm seeing the, the design that you linked to there. Um, so my first thought is that would we, like, would it be safe just to pull everything we have to tab there and then that's all we do for the first iteration and see like if people are annoyed or, or actually love it or should we just go like the current you know how we have epics shown and, and right we would put those in a tab um or should yeah, we just I don't do know. both <laughs> I, I don't know yeah i was i was wondering if the tree view should be like a separate thing where you're moving things around and we should just show the direct descendants right above it where they already are or if that's right. too much location. I'm not sure yet. I still need to look into okay. this. I was just letting everyone know that I think this is the best way forward. And then we'll okay. work out the details. Right. I no, I'm like I, I don't have a strong opinion right now because it, to me it's like it's like shot in the dark. There's so many like to me from a design perspective, there's so many benefits and and negatives and I can't really decide in my head so i think the best thing is just to ship an iteration so uh, i'm fine with it i'll let sean and kushal comment here kushal i said andre i heard you yeah i, I yeah. wanted to just ask very, something very quickly before you jump into that annabelle would would this tab design include still the sidebar tree like for a quick view and then if you want to manipulate the tree or or have a deeper look we go into the tree tab is that the idea or would the sidebar just not be implemented at this point um, when you say sidebar, you mean the, how it shows the parents, just the yeah. direct parents? Yep, that, could, that would be part of it. Um, or if not the okay. first iteration, then it could be on the second. Yeah, because I feel like that's a quick look. And then if you want a deeper look, go on to tabs. And I just wanted to, to throw something else, which is on the create side. They're working on um, design management and it's going to fall on issues. Uh, so it's not really here on epics, but um, the pattern is there to, to grow up to tabs. Okay. Thanks. Oh, that's interesting. Like so we already like issues are already going to have tabs very likely soon. MRs have tabs, and then um, epics. Issues and epics are pro well. We're proposing epics to have tabs. So may yeah, maybe it's not the worst thing in the world to have tabs. And, and then so then I, I'm just going to leave my my thoughts here, uh, and then we can move on if we or we can linger if we want. But like the like we have related issues. We have epics. We have like, and then we have related merge requests. I can see a world where like a lot of that turns get gets hidden behind tabs, or maybe hidden is the bad word, but like conveniently located behind tabs. Like the obvious negative is that you have to click to see it. Um, 
but like I wouldn't mind. I'm not going to be one of those people that are just going to complain <laughs> that I need to click one more thing. I, I think it's a good design, but I can see a lot of people complaining and going that way. I think it's a relatively safe choice given that we use tabs for merge requests and every tab on a merge request is really important, especially that's a good for point. the changes which we have last. So that's a good point. Um, I think that it won't be too bad. <laughs> Kushal, I got you off earlier. Do you want to add something? Sorry about yeah, that. so uh, as far as uh, the tree view is concerned uh, that we are showing where we are nesting the epics where you can expand and collapse individual epics. So, so the only question I have, is there a limit on the nesting? Like how many levels you want to go further? As of now, no, no. there is no. I'm sure we've gone back and forth on this so many times that I think right now we just I think we decided to keep it open as there's not very good reason to limit that. Um, so, uh, the, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say the UI will start to break down at a certain point, but. Um, but we can, all, we can almost like avoid that. We can sidestep that problem right now because it's already limited, right? By to five right now, like on the, uh, as a hard constraint anyways. So then the UI will never go beyond five in the moment. We, we want to relax that to five, we can revisit this problem. So provided like you think five levels is, is not too terrible right now, that that's like the worst that can happen or not worse. So you're thinking in the first iteration, keep it five? No, no, right now that, that is the limit on the back end for the, the, the how long an epic tree can be, right? So if you do like A, B, C, D, E, and then F, like epics going down, the F, F, F pick will not work. It will complain, right? So on the back end perspective, you cannot add an extra epic anyways. So I'm saying like if your UI logic doesn't have a separate constraint, it just goes as far as it can, then we'll be fine for now. So uh, uh, just a, a quick uh, the thought process that I, I was uh, having while uh, looking at the tree. So in, in my previous company, uh, I worked in the analytics uh, side of things where we used to deal with a lot of uh, nested uh, data. And uh, there was a concept called group reports where we would show similar nesting. And uh, we would be dealing with a lot of uh, rows where we would have n level of nesting. Although there we had 20 levels as the max limit. And uh, we encountered similar problem where how would we deal with the stepping uh, thing? Like if, if user has like all the 20 levels of nesting in place, then what would happen? So one uh, idea that we tinkered around was to follow how file managers do it. So what we did was uh, when you try to open a certain item which has further child items, uh, we would uh, like uh, it, it would appear same as uh, how you would when you open a folder in a file manager where you would see a breadcrumb with the path like where exactly you are in the nest and uh, at, at the body you would only see child uh, items for the particular parent. This way we would uh, uh, be fine with any levels of nesting that we would have because at any given point of time we would be seeing child level. And a breadcrumb can be scrollable uh, just like a path bar in the finder would be. So in that way uh, we can basically do away with any levels of nesting although backend has a limit of five but we may never know when this limit uh, gets removed. So, but then with that design, one concern is what if user wants to see adjacent items? Like for example, there are two top level parents and user wants to expand uh, parent A and see what are the child items within parent A while also looking at parent B uh, adjacent to it just to get an idea. So that is uh, still an open question. But if we are fine with uh, just showing uh, child items for a given parent, then uh, instead of expanding and collapsing items in place, where we would keep on indenting items uh, towards the right, uh, we would just show whatever the child items are and we would have a breadcrumb kind of design where uh, we would show the entire path of uh, items. Yeah, that's definitely an interesting idea, especially if we decide to do a separate view for the entire tree where we'd have all this, like what I have basically in that screenshot would be a separate view. So. Um, yeah, I'll look, I'll look into that. Do you have screenshots? I'm trying to picture that. Is it, it's just like the file manager yeah, so on Mac? I, I, I might have uh, screenshots of the work that I did back then. Uh, I'll, I'll find out and uh, we'll share you on Slack. Great. So uh, <clears throat> it, it was very similar to how file managers would do. 
So for instance, if you are on a third or fourth level of child items, then in the breadcrumb that you see in the top would have all the levels of nesting that you went so far. And between two individual items, there will be an arrow icon on which you can click and see what are the items right within that particular parent. So it acted uh, very similar to file managers essentially, because file managers are like a good example of how tree views should be implemented. So yeah. Awesome, thanks for that idea. Um, that's pretty much all I had, I think, for child epics. I didn't get a chance to look at it yesterday, so um, I don't have much else to add. Yeah, I had one question which I put in the doc, which um, is probably answered in the issue. It's just a very long issue. Um, in the tree tab, it's not clear to me how I would tell apart um, an, a child epic from a child issue. And then I was thinking, like, in another list like this, we only show things of one type. Like, you know, in Victor's example, in an issue, you have the related merge requests and the related issues, and those are in separate, like, areas. Um, whereas here, we'd be mingling those and then have the sort of drop-down filter um, to show only epics or only issues. Um, don't really know where I'm going with that. Just a thought, <laughs> <Yeah>. basically. <laughs> I th yeah, I think I mentioned that. Oh, I don't know if I did, but I have thought of that. and. It's tricky because when you look at our epic page, our merge request page, and our issue page, they're all exactly the same looking. I mean, epic's slightly different, but on first glance, you can't really tell the difference. We don't have any color distinguishing markers or anything like icons, as far as I know. So it, it is important. Um, so I'll have to look at that too. I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet. And I think uh, in the design, we have sub issues. Well, I don't know if we do or not, but that's a separate issue, right? Right. So, so sub issues is definitely a separate issue. Um, I, I think what I don't know what Sean's describing. I assume what Sean's describing is, um, and Sean can correct me, is that when we're looking at children of an epic, knowing that there there are children epics or children issues, um, and so, yeah, so right now it's 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 clear. Yeah, in the screenshot I posted, like, I don't know if it's all supposed to be epics in there or if some of those right. are epics and some of those, are, like, I can't tell. <laughs> and so, um, so to me, like, an easy solution, but I don't know if that's the best solution is you just have two tabs. Like, one tab is child epics and one, another tab is child issues. Or maybe you keep it in the same tab. Um, separate tab seems like pretty straightforward of a design, but maybe you purposely wanted to keep it in the same tab because you maybe want to see everything together. I, I don't know. Or maybe if you... You keep in this uh, if you have like separate tabs and one tab is for child epics and but if you keep expanding you actually see ish, sub issues of the of your sub epics is that confusing because in the epics tabs you also see like issues all the way going down I, I don't think that's confusing but it could be so, so but it's, there seems like a, a bazillion ways to design it but I don't think it's a terrible it's not like a super hard like there's nothing inherently crazy blocking us like there's space once you have tabs it seems like there's infinite space Go yeah, on the screenshot okay. that that annabelle uh, posted and uh, mario posted on the chat um i like the concept of having the same filter that we use for on merge requests and, and discussions of having just the activity just the comments kind of is the pattern in other places where we just like filter out what shows up and then you could choose to just look at the entire tree or look just at epics or just at issues is definitely uh, the most comfortable and more pattern-like approach. It does require some visual distinction, but I, I think that's a minor um, detail that, that Annabelle can, can quickly figure out um, like later. But I definitely feel like the first step will only be putting in epics. That's my sort of expectation. I think like a really simple way to make sure that people can tell the difference between what's an issue and what's an epic. Um, although, I mean, this would be changing the entire um, uh, the, the entire object right and all to get like GitLab is um, right now we show the title first and then the reference like uh, the a numeral uh, whatever for issues and the ampersand whatever for epics so put that first put that before the title and then you have a clear indicator of which ones are epics and which ones are issues in the same line yeah, I think in the design, that's the um, gray, like, uh, zero, 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 zero stuff, maybe. Okay, um, cool. So maybe, 
Maybe it already is in that. Maybe that might be enough. Maybe. Yeah. And if not, we might have to think about icons. <laughs> Make make the pound sign like bold and like twice the font in the, the ampersand sign. Or no, actually, <laughs> typography might help here. So there's a thing in typography about the hierarchy. So if you if you change sizes, you can make epics larger and issues smaller. And that will be like people will learn that throughout the time. But I'll I'll leave all of that just as suggestions for Annabelle. She 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 will nail it for sure. I love all these suggestions, actually. I like that idea. I think that's that's good. I do wish that we had a little more visual distinction. Um, I don't want to get too different because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to look too different from our related issues and everything like that. So I think maybe the font size might be a good choice. Obviously we can't do like a different background color or something crazy like that, but that would be nice and obvious. But yeah, thanks everyone for the ideas. Cool. Yeah, so uh, next point is uh, mine. So uh, we basically had all the roadmap scrolling related MRs merge into master. There was uh, additional UX polish MR. So what we did in this MR was we get get, get rid of uh, basically that loading spinner that you would see when the roadmap load is. And instead you would see a skeleton loader. So there won't be any spinner at all. You would see a skeleton loader and timeline get, will get rendered. And once we have the data, we would render that data. So that was uh, merged as well. We also did some tweaks on how we render the timeline bars when we fetch for uh, when we fetch new data. So it is uh, more uh, efficient compared to what we had originally. So yeah, roadmap scrolling is done. Apart from that, I've started uh, working on Epic Sidebar Refactor. So uh, basically, we implemented the core shell of the Epic uh, Refactored app, and that was merged into Master and was behind feature flag. Finally, we are getting the sidebar done as well. I'll be splitting the entire effort into multiple MRs. So I've listed all the parts uh, that we'll be doing it in. Uh, we already have one MR open and more will be followed. And uh, although the list look, looks longer, but uh, I'm keeping all the MRs very tiny so that it is faster to review and merge. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll basically have all the MRs open by Tuesday next week and we'll have those merged. And uh, another quick update is I'll be uh, off from 2nd Feb to 15th Feb. Uh, I did announce it in a uh, front friend call on Tuesday. But uh, yeah, I'm getting married uh, next month. <laughs> so Congratulations. Uh, yep, thanks. Uh, so uh, the date is uh, 9th Feb. And uh, yeah, I'll be off from 2nd to 15th. Uh, we'll be back. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll basically get uh, all the MRs that I have, have opened and merged before I go on vacation. So yeah. Congratulations, Kushal. Yeah, thank now, you. Now, now the world will know when I upload this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, you have to post your secrets out. <laughs> um, thanks, Kushal. Uh, so, so quick question. You said you're going to open or have opened a couple of MRs. Is that all for that one issue that's scoped or is that like for the entire app? Yes. No, no, no. Uh, so uh, the way we broke down the entire refactoring effort into four different issues, if you look at it, was that we had one separate issue for tests and one separate issue for cleaning up everything. So what will happen is that once we have all these seven MRs, the, these seven parts get merged, all the three issues that we have remaining in that refactoring epic would get closed because everything will be covered once sidebar is in. Because what we are doing is, is that for every MR that we are opening as a part of these seven part series, uh, tests would also go along with those changes. So we won't be needing a separate MR just to write the test because code is already going in with the tests. And uh, the last part will get rid of the older app. We would uh, remove all the older code and we'll make a new app as default. So that would close the last issue in that uh, epic as well. So essentially we are closing three issues at once uh, while uh, doing all these uh, MRs. So just for housekeeping, should I change the milestones for the ladder two to 11.8? Right now they're like- Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw it is uh, 11.9 and 11.10, I believe. But yeah, it is fine. We can issue it. Okay. I'm doing that right now, and I'll leave a comment for whoever, whoever reads it so they know. Um, awesome. Uh, and yeah, congrats. Uh, so if there's no more things to talk about, uh, just a, a quick note from the group conversation yesterday uh, that Sid was asking about adoption and epics and stuff like that. So I uh, just wanted to share that issue with you that opened. Um, and so we have a process for these things, uh, which I linked to in the description as well. Um, so my general thoughts are that 
I think we're pretty close to, to getting more adoption even with Ultimate. Um, and that's, that's I, how I would prefer it to be, like not, not changed. Um, but you know, these things are certainly above my pay grade and like, like it's not something that I lose sleep over anyways. So, um, but my, my suggestion there, and if you guys care, you can you know, re respond and so forth. But my suggestion there is that the Epic object itself would be in a lower tier but more uh, advanced features as we're building them right now, they would remain in the ultimate tier. And so I said, for example, the roadmap view should remain in ultimate tier. The new child epics functionality should remain in ultimate, um, but the basic epics and having issues attached to them would be in a lower tier to, to uh, invoke or incite some adoption. A good uh, plan, especially because by just moving the, the simplest option, uh, you're already getting people like, you know, you give them a little taste of what it is. Exactly, exactly. And that, that simple option is actually very powerful already because it lets you have all the issues for different uh, mm -hmm, Right. Uh, like at my last job, we actually, when, when uh, GitHub started having epics, um, you could only have them from one project at the beginning. Right. And we felt that was useless. So okay. just having that be like multiple right. uh, in the same group, that's a pretty wonderful thing already. Yeah, and yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat confident that that is, is indeed powerful, like you said, because that's exactly what we use. I mean, like honestly, how many like people on this car are looking at the roadmap every day? Like maybe me, <laughs> and maybe I look at it once a week, uh, probably more than that, maybe two or three times a week, right? So folks here are not looking at the roadmap, view, but you are looking at epics, I hope. Um, and then we just shipped child epics so you were using epics before <laughs> a couple of weeks back so I'm, I'm sure that feature as 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 it stands alone would would have a lot of usage um so bringing it down one tier um could be a good strategy so just wanted to share that with you folks um as you folks are users and should have good ideas and insight into that as well so if nothing else uh, we can yeah continue conversations um async i look forward to the the design conversation <laughs> of of uh, of child epics, so, but um, I'm sure we we can talk more about that next week or in a different time when Annabelle has more like something more concrete as a proposal. All right, I'm going to stop and I'll see you folks whenever I do. Bye now. <laughs>